woke up this morning to news at the American Music Awards. I'm Jennifer Sanasi. You're watching News 24 Live. I'm joined in studio with Women 24's fashion and beauty editor, Marisa Krause, and we are going to talk you through the best and worst dressed from last night's red carpet. Hello. Hi. I shouldn't say last night. It was really more like this morning. Exactly. Um, <laughs> before we get into the best and worst dress, I have to talk about that opening number that Jennifer Lopez did. She did a dance to the mashup of all the songs. I'm sure you saw it. Yeah. But Nicki Minaj's face when she did the Anaconda piece was priceless. That was my She favorite always takes moment. issue with someone. There's always some kind someone of or moment. something. Yeah. So well, it's entertaining to watch. <laughs> All right, let's go. We, just, we uh, recently talked about the South African Style Awards, and we we're talking about all the best dressed. So actually, let's start off with the worst dress. Okay, sure. Who was the worst dressed last night? There was this, I almost couldn't believe it, but um, Jenny McCarthy wore this red outfit that I don't really know how to explain, because it's very 80s, but like I thought of it as like, say, a southern hoedown moment. <laughs> which um, was not great. I mean, red kind of velvet uh, um, thigh high boots with this big belt buckle, red, I don't know. It's taco. almost like very space agey cowboy. I know, exactly. No, it, it was not a great moment. I don't know where, like, I don't know who her stylist is because no one who's modern, like you can get something wrong, but to get it this wrong, and in all red, like you can't miss that. So that was definitely my worst by far. I almost think that the outfit could have been better if she didn't have the boots. It wouldn't have been maybe yes that over the top. And the belt, I would say. The belt, yeah. The belt <laughs> is a little old school. Yes, maybe just just style differently, maybe because her hair was also quite big. So if it was more like a sleek hair, you know, hairdo, then. It would have been better, but I think, I don't know, it was horrible. And she didn't, she used to dress much better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, Gwen Stefani usually stuns on the red carpet. I know. But last night it was a little bit of a mess, I think. And it was a very naked dress, um, sheer black dress. Um, we saw a lot of these actually on the red carpet. But, you know, but with um, certain, you know, <sighs> what do you say, like embellishments placed in different, in like strategic places, mm -hmm. I would say. But I think that Gwen Stefani is going through a bit of a change and I hope her style does not go down because I always like what she's wearing. So I was really disappointed last night. It was just a bit frou-frou and over the top. Maybe she was trying something new and it didn't work and she's going to go back to being her yeah. old self. But also, I don't want to see everyone's underpants. That's also like the new trend where it's, you know, a, a sheer skirt. Mm -hmm. And I don't understand why it's gone this route. <laughs> why has it gone so far? <laughs> why? I don't like it. <laughs> So yeah, she was definitely not one of my favorites. And uh, everyone's talking about this dress, so it will be interesting to see what our readers think, actually. Well, everyone's talking about it, so yeah. who's the real loser here? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Who's judging? On to the next one. And then um, Ely Golding was my last one. She wore this um, one shoulder, like, dress, pin dress. But I don't know, it, it was really just, it fits her well, but I just think the way she dresses lately, she should go for something a bit, you know, longer, flowy. She's she's dressing really like 90s, 80s throwback, which I don't know, maybe that suits her music in a way, but I don't think it suits her yeah. her style. Yeah, she, she should really up her style a bit. <laughs> All right, those are the worst. Now yes. we're moving on to the best. Yes. We're going to end on a good note. Yes. <laughs> I, my favorite from all the red carpet gowns, uh, Selena Gomez, and I usually don't see her as a front runner, runner style-wise, but she wore this beautiful ruby dress, ruby sequin dress, with kind of like this black tubing and this beautiful open Stunning back. Bag. And actually, the, this is the new dress shape for the season, I would say, is the pencil dress. Um, so flattering, you know, if you find this for an evening dress, can be so stunning with heels. And yeah, I just think she knocked it out of the park, also with her hair, her makeup, everything. She looked amazing. Who knew? Who knew she had it in her? But I'm going to be watching her from now. Definitely <laughs> one to watch. Yeah. Now we have the Jenner sisters on the best yes. dress list. I think um, they, you know, they showed up looking the part for this event. and. I mean, Kylie wore this beautiful, um, you know, it's like chains, leather, 
Kendall opted for something a bit more, you know, short and with tassels, you know. More, more trendy almost. Yes, with her open back. But I think they complemented each other really nicely. And, yeah, they looked fresh and young. And it wasn't something that was too, you know, done. It's, it was a new take on this kind of edgy music, you know, awards dressing. <laughs> yeah. Now we have one more for best dress before we wrap things up. And who's that? Uh, Gigi Hadid uh, showed up with a new do. She cut her hair short, much like mine, I guess. And then she done this beautiful white dress. Very sexy, high slit. But I think she, she loves to wear white. And she always pulls it off. And she said she's in the best shape of her life at the moment after the Victoria's Secret um, catwalk show. And I think, yeah, she's definitely one to watch Star Wars. She always brings it with her beautiful, you know, glowy complexion. And it works so well with white, especially.